So many of us cut the cord trying to save money, but over the last year, 10 of the top streaming services have raised their prices. CNET says most of the price increases are so the services can bring you better content. Most of it has to do with the cost of creating content, also licensing content, especially if a streamer is serving up titles that come from external studios. To save money, CNET says to look for bundle prices. In truth, it's almost kind of like the old days of cable where you pay one price and you get a lot of channels. Peacock just bundled with uh, Netflix as well as Apple TV Plus for the Comcast Stream Saver Bundle. That can save consumers $10 a month across the board if you actually want to watch all three services. You also want to look into deals and discounts from your wireless provider or your credit card companies. And if you really want to save, try rotating your services. For example, for one month, you'd subscribe to Netflix, watch all the stuff there, then unsubscribe. The next month, you'd move on to Max, and the month after that, you'd consider Disney Plus. Then once you watch all of that, you go back to Netflix and watch what's there. There is one catch to all of this, though. I really want you to make sure that you put a calendar alarm on your phone so you don't forget to cancel before the next month's bill is auto-drafted from your account. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. And don't forget, there is one streaming service you can always get for free. WFMY Plus offers news, sports, and investigative content from across the triad and the country. Plus, there's some great programming like Mom Squad on there all for free on Roku and Fire Stick.